how can you grind calendar shoots? Now, some of you may be wondering what puck and grind is. Well, it started as a burlesque hockey watch party earlier this year in uh, 2015. And we are gearing up for the second reiteration, which now includes a hockey tournament earlier in the day, followed by another burlesque hockey watch party all done for the charity you can play. And soon we are going to be interviewing Lady Ali Bode, the commissioner and producer of Puck and Grind, as well as some of the participants in the calendar shoots. So let's go on set and learn more about this crazy thing called Puck and Grind. trying to get those people to come see a show, maybe they'll become a fan of burlesque as well. So it's, it's twofold, you know, you get get a new crowd for our, for our burlesque community and also help, um, help raise some money for some good people. Too bad. 
as you lose yeah. I was not blocking an actual goal. That's true. Um, I don't think you had your legs up over your head, and I don't think many, uh, I don't think that's a traditional hockey. <laughs> that's not how people block the net? I don't think there. so. I don't think so. I mean, I think maybe they should try it. I don't know, again, I don't watch a lot of hockey. Yeah. I don't know how it works. Yeah. So how did that, how did that feel, posing with? It was good. There, there was some, I did, a, I did a splits thing, which was nice, leg extension, um, which was uh, challenging. And then the classic panel pose with the feet in the air, which was, once I figured out where to put my weight, it was fine. And it was, I just hope the pictures turn out nice. I think they will. You, you were looking really good in the poses. So. Oh, okay. Good. Um, I don't, you're, you're, you're kind of an old pro at this at, at this point, so I just Gosh. hope they... <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> as possible as a little, very black and white, so it's easy to do, I think. 